I plan on breaking up with my narcissistic girlfriend soon. What should I expect? How do narcissists react to breakups? Okay, yeah. So, I mean, I, I guess like lots of questions about narcissists and uh, behaviors, there will be variables and uh, some of it will be sort of context bound. But I guess if we start by sort of thinking that the narcissistic sort of personality um, is underpinned by uh, shame uh, and, and, and a sort of deep level of insecurity, um, then, you know, any kind of rejection is going to be experienced sort of uh, far more severely and intensely by that person compared to, you know, somebody that isn't uh, presenting with such levels of underlying shame and insecurity. So, so the kind of their internal world will be potentially quite shattered by the rejection. Um, and given that they are the, the narcissist is is generally uh, predisposed to high levels of control and manipulation, um, being rejected, of course, is uh, not in line with their mode of operant mode of operandi. Yeah, so. A rejection is somebody else taking the control away from them. Um, so the responses can be very extreme and and, and varied. Um, you know, I've I've sort of witnessed people breaking down, for instance, having quite significant breakdowns at at, at such rejection, sort of suicidal, um, because their internal worlds are so fragile. Um, the lack of control and the, the experience of rejection can lead to a sort of suicidal reaction. Um, uh, you know, this is sort of an extreme. Um, more generally, there'll be anger and rage um, and a kind of attempt to obviously regain control. Uh, maybe the regaining of control might be seen in smear campaigns whereby, you know, they'll start to talk very negatively towards... Uh, other people outside of the relationship um, in relation to the to the partner who rejected them. Um, there's very little uh, capacity for people with narcissistic personalities um, at, at varying degrees to take responsibility. So, you know, where one might ordinarily be able to think about the reasons behind such rejection in an ordinary kind of psyche in an ordinary relational dynamic, um, the narcissist won't be able to take any responsibility. So um, that will that will sort of bounce back in, in, in rage and an attack of, of, of the rejecting partner. Um, and I guess, you know, you might be looking at kind of smear campaigns and the alignment with sort of people to, uh, to blame the partner um, for for the relationship going wrong. Um, and again, depending on age, if children are involved, et cetera, et cetera, um, you know, that brings in a whole different sort of dimension. I guess on the other side of things, people can also um, maybe move on quite quickly. So there may be a sort of dismissal of the significance um, of, of the rejection. Um, you know, there may be some suffering on one level, but to the outside world, there may be a kind of presentation, a false presentation, a sort of masking of the of the internal sort of destruction, and um, and therefore a moving on very quickly, a, a kind of discarding of the of the previous partner, and uh, moving on to a new relationship. Um, I guess if we think about the underlying shame, that means that there's a you know, a strong internalized sense that these people are bad, you know, that they're not good. So the rejection obviously, you know, compounds that sense of shame. And that's what will bring about the fragility and the rage as a sort of defense against the shame.